I'm thrilled to say that Colorado, the state I've called home for the last decade, just became the fifth state to sign the Crown Act into law, banning natural hair discrimination. Two of the three fierce lady lawmakers who led the fight for equality are joining us in studio today. But first, let's take a look at the special moment in history. Officials. <laughs> A special celebration marked the historic finale of the Crown Act journey in Colorado. It is a long time coming. The legislation got national attention earlier this year when Matthew A. Cherry won an Academy Award for the animated short film, Hair Love. We wanted to normalize black hair. There's a very important issue that's out there, it's the Crown Act, and if we can help to get this passing off at these states. More and more states are joining the movement to create a respectful and open world for natural hair with Senator Rhonda Fields, Representative Leslie Harrod, and Representative Janet Buckner getting the job done in Colorado. No one should be discriminated against because of how their hair grows out of their scalp. Yes. I was honored to go along for the ride, sharing my personal testimony. Once I took all of the unveiling off that I just had to sit with me and I needed to be enough. And it turns out I was more than enough. Let's continue to work together to create a more inclusive future in the workplace, schools, and beyond in all 50 states. Because everyone deserves to feel proud of their culture and the beautiful crown they were given. Joining us now are Representative Leslie Harrod and Representative Janet Buckner. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here and for all the work that you did to get the Crown Act passed in Colorado. This has been just an honor to watch. But first, I want to just ask um, Representative Herod, this Crown Act gave unprecedented community support. Yeah. So on Friday, it was the perfect culmination to have the bill signed by the governor. How did that feel? Yeah, well, it felt amazing. And to be able to partner with uh, Representative Buckner and Senator Rhonda Fields was just phenomenal. But I gotta tell you, the inspiration from this and the fight for this came from the community. Mm -hmm. We had our first ever Black Caucus community hearing, and I'm the chair of the Black Caucus. Over 100 people showed up and talked about their own hair stories, their own journeys, and how much this bill would impact them. They put the capital on notice. <laughs> and so the bill moved pretty quickly uh -huh. from there um, because folks knew the community had our backs. That's amazing. And I, I mean, I got to have a front row seat in a couple of instances, once on the House floor, once on the Senate floor, um, or during the committees. And I have never been a part of a process like that. And I just really appreciated you guys, including me and wanting to me to share my testimony. Lindsay was there as well. I was, thank you for inviting me. <laughs> and we were amazing. so <laughs> excited. Before we get into the segment, I wanna talk about the Crown Act. And can you explain to our viewers what the Crown Act is. Yeah. Well, the Crown Act will ban discrimination based on hairstyles, ethnic discrimination on hairstyles throughout Colorado. So that's in employment, in schools, places of public accommodations, and even housing because it's happening. Discrimination is happening at all of those levels. And so with one fatal swoop, we were able to ban that type of discrimination right here in Colorado. And I want to play a clip of a little girl that's gone viral, right? She was <laughs> yeah. reacting, getting yes. her hair done. It's heartbreaking, but it does speak volumes to what kind of we go through and little girls go through. And then you guys can speak to that afterwards. Sounds good. I'm so ugly. <gasps> what? Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. You are so pretty. You are too cute. Oh. 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 Ariana, oh, you gonna make me cry. You're not ugly. <laughs> Since that video made the rounds online, Academy Award winning producer of Hair Love, Matthew A. Cherry, asked artists to submit drawings of the little girl mm. to let her know that she's beautiful. I want to know how the Crown Act now empowers little girls that have seen that. I know I watched it and was watched, following his Instagram all weekend seeing these beautiful drawings, but what do you guys feel? Well, the Crown Act is really special and it's going to help my children and my grandchildren and all children and all grandchildren to have more confidence in their look, their hair, whether they're in the classroom or the boardroom. Mm -hmm. It is so important. 
Another thing that's really important to address, um, Representative Buckner, this isn't just about African Americans and it's not just about women. Can you speak more to that? Yes. This is not just about African Americans. It's for everyone who has hair. <laughs> we all have hair. This is not defined just by being a person of color. We had a lot of people ask us that question. Uh, young men who wear dreads and who were Caucasian said, can I, can this apply to me because I wear my dreads to work? And the answer is yes. Yeah. I'm so happy that Colorado was on the forefront of this, but I really want to know, I was racking my brain, what was the issue when people said they were opposed to it? Did they have any valid reasons? Well, I think initially folks might have thought they could come through communities of color and say, well, does this help Jewish women? What about curly hair? Or what about young native and, and indigenous men with long hair? Um, and we said this applies to all folks. Um, and for me, it was really important because I'm a member of the LGBT community as well. And so we're talking about gender non-binary. We're talking Talking about everybody, but the opposition came, and it was—it's rooted in um, racism and discrimination. Whether it's by, uh, whether it's conscious or unconscious, um, this is happening because people are using hair as a proxy for race, and they say, you know, you don't look professional enough. You don't look like you're ready for prime time. Did you try this morning? All of these things that we got, um, that we heard from from people who testified—that's really where the opposition came from. We also had people say, like, what about safety and health code? And yeah. um, the great thing about this bill was that businesses from across Colorado, labor unions, um, you know, folks in the food industry said, this is not really an issue. We can get a hairnet. We can cover right. things up as necessary. Um, the real issue comes from that, that bias and that discrimination that we need to eradicate here in Colorado. I will say during um, the Senate hearing that I got to be a part of, that was the first time that I'd heard an explanation for a nay, mm -hmm. um, which was very eye-opening to me because um, when we talk about hair discrimination being racial discrimination, that seems very black and white, um, yeah. but it seemed that there were other nuanced ways of having that conversation, which ultimately may be the reason why we have to p pass this bill in every state. So yeah. for our viewers, how can they learn more about the Crown Act and how they can get involved with having it um, passed in their state? Yeah. Well, Colorado's proud to be the fifth state, fifth right? State. But there's over 20, I think 25 states right now that are still debating in the Crown Act. Right. So um, go to thecrownact.com and figure out what your state is doing. Share your personal stories because they actually change votes. You know, they change the hearts and minds of people like me, legislators. So go on um, to, again, crownact.com and learn how you can help. One thing I heard you guys say is that, you know, on Friday is that you don't know how this affects you and you can't see this would still be an issue, but it really is, it is. especially for working women down to kids. So yeah, thank you is. so much for what you're doing. Thank you, Erica. We appreciate you, Representative Buckner, thank Representative you. Herod, and of course we have to acknowledge Senator Rhonda Fields. Yes, we appreciate all you ladies. The Crown Act is official Woo! in Colorado.